Hey folks and welcome back to yet another After Effects tutorial. I know it's been a while. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create an HDR fake effect so that you get an HDR effect for your videos without buying a really expensive camera. So um, yeah this is what the effect will look like in the end. Um, I'm just going to show you how it looks like if you don't do anything. So this was like the original layer, pretty grayish and uh, yeah, a lot of dark contours are missing. So um, how you can create this high contrast effect? Uh, it's pretty simple. First of all, you're going to do a, you're going to open up a new project. So um, I've imported a clip right here. I'm just going to drag it in here and I'm going to mute this right quick. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to duplicate the layer using a uh, command and D or control D on a Windows PC. Yeah. Um, the next thing is you want to desaturate the duplicated layer. Um, I'm just going to rename this to duplicate one. And we're going to desaturate using a hue saturation effect. So I'm going to apply it on this layer and now you are going to go down here to master saturation and bring the slider all the way to the left so that you get a black and white image. The next thing you want to do is basically going to invert it. So you are going to add this invert effect onto the layer and that's it. And now you want to change the layer mode, the blending mode, to overlay. And you see, you kind of get the idea, the color information gets pretty much filtered out of the original image. And now all you want to do is you want to apply Gaussian blur onto the duplicate. And now if you bring up this slider value, you will see that the image gets sharper. So more information will be revealed. I'm going to go with something about, let's say 80. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, yeah, you see the contours get pretty sharp with this effect. Yeah, I think something around 80 was okay. Now you want to go um, onto the original layer. I'm just going to rename this. So you want to duplicate the original layer once again and paste it over the duplicate one. And now we're going to rename this to duplicate two. Once you've done that, all you got to do is change the blend mode to linear light. And now you're going to hit T for transparency or opacity and bring down the value to something that looks good. In my case, a high contrast for the C would be great. And there you have it. That's it. That's all you need. I'm going to let this render for a second so you get an idea of what this looks like. Maybe third. So that you get an idea of what it looks like. And um, actually, I'm just going to put these two into a composition. This is uh, effects. Yeah, nice. Doesn't work like I wanted it. So I'm just going to duplicate it, put all this into a composition. All right, so and I'm going to show you a side by side comparison of what it looks like before on the left and after on the right. Just going to render this out right quick. Okay, I think that's enough. So you can see the colors are much more vivid on the right with our fake HDR effect. And it is a cool color correction effect to be used in your videos. That's all for today's tutorial. If you want more, then feel free to leave a like. Share this video with your friends or leave a suggestion what you would like me to do a tutorial about. Thanks for watching. My name is Tom. We'll see us in the next video. Bye.